So, welcome to Examiner's next set of videos on functions. This is going to be quite a quick topic, so there aren't going to be too many videos. Uh, we're going to break it up into chunks, so we're going to talk an intro to functions first. Then we're going to look at the different types of functions we're going to come across. We're going to look at how to graph functions. We're going to look at composite functions, the inverse of functions, and then we're going to look at the difference between injective, surjective, and bijective functions. So if you want to learn more about ExamLearn, here's the logo in the top right corner. Uh, if you click on the link in the description, it'll bring you to the website, and you can check out all some of the cool free features, like you can look at every question that's ever been asked on functions completely for free, or if you want to sign up, you can get A1 grade uh, exam answers for all topics, junior cert, leaving cert, uh, whatever you're looking for. So anyway, we're just going to jump straight into it. So functions is kind of a weird one. Uh, they rarely ask questions purely based on these chunks here, but it's normally about functions and a different topic together. So that's why this, uh, these function videos are going to be quite short because you just need to know the basics. And then after that, you have to know the different topics like, say, trigonometry, if it's trigonometric functions or logs, if you're talking about log functions. So you'll see what I mean anyway. Uh, first, we're going to go through some terminology. So I'll just write, oh, no, some terminology. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at is basically what is a function. So I'll write function is basically a rule that turns inputs to outputs. Rule that turns inputs to outputs. So there's a little bit more to it, but that's basically what it means. Outputs uh, to outputs, okay? Um, so an input, an example of an input would be, nope, input is generally going to be x, and then our outputs, so output is either going to be f of x or y. They're kind of the same thing, and you might even see this one here written, so it's f uh, double dot x and then an arrow, they all mean the same thing. So f of x is equal to y is equal to this thing here. We're going to be talking about f of x or y mostly. Um, so generally your function is going to be called f of x or it's going to be called y and then your input is going to be x. So again, the easiest thing to do is to look at an example. So the quick example we're going to look at is f of x is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. If we decide in this case that our input, so input We'll say x is equal to 1. So if we put 1 into this function, we're going to find out what we get. So then f of x is going to be 1 squared plus 1 plus 1. And that's just going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. So our output then, f of x, is equal to 3. Really, so that, that's all it is. You put an input in, 1, and you get your output, 3. And then if you do loads of those, basically you'll end up with a graph. This graph's going to look something like that. It's going to be a quadratic one. Uh, so depending on the function, you get a different graph. And it's just, that, that's all a function really is. Some people really overcomplicate it, uh, but it doesn't have to be that scary. That, that's all it really is. So one important note, I'm just going to put a star, uh, about functions is, so that should be a V. Every input, every input, must have a unique output, must have a unique output, okay? So that means for every time you put in an x, there, you must get out an, uh, a y, but it can't be, it has to be a unique y. So basically what this means is, um, no, I'll show it a different way. So the best way to do it is I'll have to draw a graph. So I'm just going to uh, quickly erase all this stuff. So we just clean that up there a little bit. So again, function is a rule that turns an input x into an output y. Uh, an output can be f of x or y, the same thing. And again, every input must have a unique output. And how do we test this? What's the best way of seeing is something a function? Uh, it's called the vertical line test. So for example, if we draw this function here, okay, so that's a cubic function. If we draw any vertical line and it hits it only once, so I'll say hits only once. Yeah, so see it only hits the, the curve once. Yeah, at each point, it only hits it there, there, there. So it doesn't come back and hit it again. So it's not like the purple curve comes under. Only hits once. That means it's a function. So that's an easy way of just showing that uh, 
every input must only have one uh, and every input has a unique output it's called just a vertical line test again if we do that for say this curve here okay we got a green line do a vertical line test it hits it twice which basically means not a function not a function okay and this this purple curve there that looks like a c that is f of x is equal to the square root of x and you should probably know that because they do like asking it they like asking they give you two lines like this and they'll say which one of these is a function how would you test it you say vertical line test why is it not a function because every input doesn't have a unique output and just generally you have to know that the square root of x is not a function okay so that's just one quick thing that i might ask in the exam and that's all I'm really going to talk about in this video. So to make a quick intro video, and uh, next video we're going to talk about mapping diagrams and about the range domain and the codomain and things like that. And um, so just more kind of terminology and definitions, and then we'll get into more of the mathsy stuff. So I hope that video helped. Um, some people don't like functions, but hopefully this kind of clears it up. There isn't loads you need to understand if you just learn off a few things, uh, and don't be too scared of functions. They're literally just rules that turn inputs into outputs. So again, I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video.